Originating in the Middle East, pita bread has been around for thousands of years. Today, its popularity continues to grow around the globe. Part of its appeal is its versatility. People can stuff the pita's pockets, use it as a sandwich wrap, or slice it for dipping. Pita bread may be flat, but that doesn't mean it's boring. Anyone can use pita to make any number of interesting lunchtime combinations. Making pita bread starts with silos full of flour. A blower system delivers the flour to an automated sifter. The sifter shakes the flour through three levels of mesh to filter out impurities. Magnets extract any metal contaminants. Workers prepare a premix of sugar, salt, yeast, and preservatives. They combine these ingredients with the sifted flour in a big mixer and add water. The mixer is equipped with numerous bars that rotate horizontally to blend the ingredients. The operator opens the mixer and spins it one more time to eject the dough into a bin. He rolls the bin to the next station. Here, the pita dough goes into a hopper. And from there, it drops into a machine called a dough divider. This machine turns big chunks of dough into many small blobs. To do this, it forces the dough through a round hole, and a guillotine blade chops it to the correct thickness. The dough blobs ride a conveyor and pass under a roller that flattens them. Flour from an overhead sifter dusts the dough blobs to keep them from sticking to the machinery. Each one of these flattened dough blobs will eventually become a pita. The round pieces of dough now ride a conveyor up to a warm zone. Over a period of 15 minutes, the yeast ferments, causing the dough to rise. Out of the fermentation station, a roller flattens the pita dough segments again. They're now ready to be rolled very thin in a process known as sheeting. The next roller presses the pita dough much thinner. Rolling it in one direction makes the dough segments oval-shaped. The oval pitas ride by a pusher that now shoves them towards the final roller. It rolls the dough in the other direction to round out the shape and make it even thinner. Perfectly round and thin, the pitas now travel up to another fermentation operation. Inside, the temperature is toasty. It's warm enough to reawaken the yeast and cause the dough to rise again. Conveyors move in crisscross directions to take the pitas back and forth. This zigzagging journey lasts about 15 minutes. When the pitas emerge from the chamber, they have thickened up substantially. They head into an oven where the magic happens. The oven's temperature is between 750 and 930 degrees Fahrenheit. They spend just 15 seconds in it. This flash baking causes the water in the dough to turn to steam. The steam puffs the pitas, creating pockets inside. The pitas then travel on conveyors for a 20 minute cool down. As they cool, they deflate. The process has created pockets in the pitas. Once sliced open, the pockets can be stuffed to create sandwiches. Workers stack the pitas six high for packaging. The next conveyor delivers the stacks into the clutch of an automated arm. Just ahead, a burst of air opens a bag and the arm inserts the pitas into it. At the same time, it pushes the bag onto the next conveyor. Moving forward, another device automatically twists the open end of the bag. The device applies a plastic lock tab to the twisted end of the bag, sealing the pita breads inside. The bags pass by a metal detector, and then they're on their way to the supermarket. 
This pita bread has taken 45 minutes to make and package, but it should enable lunch to come together very quickly.